Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a current chat in Jade Summer Grayscale Tattoo Book because somebody requested it. I do apologise, I can't remember who it was. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do that. I hope you're all well and welcome back. Uh, this is an adult uh, channel and the... I'm just looking for the first colour, I've got to be honest. Uh, I can't find it. The videos on this channel are made for adults and they are no way or in any shape or form made for or meant to be for children. So we're going to be colouring in this book and the one I normally use isn't in here so I've misplaced a colour but that's fine I will use a different one. We're going to be colouring in, I've got the page in ready, The Mermaid. So I'm just looking for the skin I normally use which is normally barely beige. Oh there it is because it's a very light colour. Um, so we're going to colour in this beautiful mermaid. So hello everybody, I hope you're well, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying being here so far. So I hope you're all keeping well. I know that you, my friend in America, are waiting for the results of the general election or your election. Um, I'm not going to get political and we're not going to talk about it. But while I do have opinions about it, and that's fine, who you vote for is between you and your ballot paper and is nothing to do with anybody else. You have a right as a free citizen in a democratic world to vote for whoever you want to. So you do what your heart and conscience tells you. You do what you believe. That's what I've always felt with voting. Don't let anybody else tell you that what you're voting for is wrong if you believe in that candidate and their policies. And that's all I'm going to say. We'll find out soon enough. Um, you know, whatever will be, will be. Que sera, sera. So, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling over well tonight. I'm feeling a little bit off colour, but I thought I want to come on and, and do a video. I'm really, I enjoy my colouring. It does help me relax. And I'm hoping that uh, colouring this mermaid and having a chat to you, my friends, will take my mind off it and I'll feel a bit better afterwards. That's my plan. So... What have I been up to? So I went for a walk today. It's it's Wednesday. You'll be watching this on Thursday. I went for a walk along the canal with Jennifer. Absolute, absolutely beautiful sunny autumn day. It was perfect weather. That's the kind of weather I want. If it's like that, I will take her out again tomorrow. I did come across a guy taking lots of different photographs. He strings them together apparently and uh, puts them on. I should have got his um, YouTube or his Insta or whatever it uses. So you know I could follow him, but. I didn't think of it. I'll probably see him again, hopefully. He was really, really nice. Had a nice chat and, you know, it was nice. And Jennifer likes to throw sticks in the water. She likes the noise they make. So she did a few of those. But it was nice to get out in the fresh air. I had a, a little doze afterwards, as did Jennifer, because we were both tired from the walk. We don't walk far because she'll want carrying back. And she's getting too heavy to be carried, I'm telling you. So, but it was very, very nice. So that's the main thing. We all had a lovely time. And, uh, yeah, it was lovely. Nice to get out. Work was okay. Work's work. I just hope I don't feel ill tomorrow because I don't think I could cope with talking to people if I was, uh, if I feel like this. But then that's what sick leave's for. If I have to use it, I will. I hope not. I don't want to. I don't like it. I like to... I feel guilty even if I'm really ill. So, and I don't feel right tonight, but... I'm hoping tomorrow one will be able to feel a lot better. So, you know what, it's so nice when, I mean, I love Jennifer and I love playing with her. It's so nice when she goes to bed and we can have adult TV on. She um, wants to constantly watch Peppa Pig at the moment, which is one of my least favourite things. I don't know why, it just grates on me. It's getting, it's getting less. I'm enjoying, I'm, I, I don't mind it as much as I used to, which is good. But I think it's just, you know, it's just, really? Um, whereas Waffle, mind you, that used to drive me up all because she used to watch it all the time. I don't mind anymore. Waffle is fine. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to take, whether we're going to do it all in one go or in two sessions, or I'll just colour the main picture and then uh, we'll do the rest of it another time in a different 
uh, colour. I'm deciding what colour to do. I had on to do a sort of ready colour. So I've got terracotta and I've got the cinnamon. Brick brown. It's not exactly red, but it's not exactly brown either. Let's just have a quick look at terracotta and get my swatch pad up. Which is actually just a notepad really. I just... No, too brown for that one. What about... Uh... I mean, I'm using um, both the Everblends and the Touch News. Too brown. I want more of a red colour, but I don't want like brick red or bright red. No, that's they're all too brown. Let's go into the reds and make a decision. <laughs> we might just go with bright red. Let's have a look at the reds. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna go with ruby red, which is a very bright red, but I'm gonna use it anyway, because hell, why not? This is my picture. <laughs> So, yeah, she's got lovely hair, hasn't she, this mermaid? Ooh, looks very red. Nice. Oh, it would be darker on some, won't show up on everything. Because some of these, this has got some quite dark grey scale in it, which is nice. I do love using markers on the grey scale. Um, I can use the um, pencils, but this Jade Summer paper is better with the markers, I think. So, I've not watched a lot of TV. I've got to be honest, I don't. I watch more stuff like YouTube, and I'm watching creepy stuff at the moment. I can't remember what the channel's called. I have to look it up. Um, obviously, I'm still watching Lazy Masquerade. He's brilliant. I love his stuff. His videos can be quite long. Um, this one is does top five or top so many things of creepiness, which is quite cool. Like top five creepy ghost videos and stuff like that that they've come across while surfing the net. And it is I, I do like the creepy stuff. Although that's not what I've watched. Um, I've been watching stuff about uh, William Shakespeare and whether or not he wrote his plays. I talk about that more in the weekly vlog. And last night I watched a program about uh, Diana, Princess of Wales and the conspiracy theories around her death. So that was fascinating. It was a weird thing. Who knows what happened? They've just I don't think it's all come out. I'm not saying she was murdered by... The royal family. I, I don't think they. Well, who knows if they did that? I don't believe so, but I, I might be wrong. But there's something that's not quite right there because there were so many delays. The French investigation wasn't very good. They subdued witnesses and lost statements, and there was no inquest or something. You know, things like that. I mean, it's just very, in the UK straight away, which is by law required to have. I don't know. It's just very, very strange but fascinating and I do sort of think I'm going to watch this and, and sometimes these things come up in my timeline as my my time uh, my uh, recommended watch list and I'll, I'll watch them if they're interested and sometimes if I, I see it on my phone I'll, I'll click it into my watch later folder and then at some point I do go through my watch later folder delete what I've watched and um, I think right I've got this to watch on all and then I start watching them and it, it's quite good fun actually I like those sorts of things I, I like documentaries. I mean, sometimes, I mean, I've, I've had days when I've watched about that flight, the Malaysia flight that disappeared a few years ago. Um, Amelia Earhart, Kennedy. I just start, uh, just watch things and, and I binge watch complete subjects because I like doing things like that. Or I'll watch a load of stuff about ancient Egypt or Pompeii or Roman history. I like anything like that. I uh, haven't watched um, any films, um, I haven't read any, finished any books, which is very naughty of me. I did receive a nice hardback uh, Folio Society copy of um, Return of the Native by Thomas Hardy. I, I want to pick up them every now and again from eBay. It only cost me a fiver for the book and postage, so it wasn't very much. And Folio Society is in nice books. So every now and again I have a look at Thomas Hardy Folio Society and I pick up an odd 
but well, I've only got two volumes. One I actually bought when I was a member of the Folio Society for a while, because I do like their books. But I uh, just can't justify the expense. On all the space, so the odd one every now and again. And Paul says I'm not allowed to buy any books until I've got rid of some more of the ones that I haven't read yet, and that's fair enough, but... I'm one of those people I just read what I feel drawn to. So I might buy a book because I think it looks interesting, but unless I'm like in the mood for it, I won't. I mean, I'm still reading Time with Norma Jean. I haven't read any of that for a while. So if I've got time to tonight or if I don't work tomorrow because I'm ill, I might read it then. I might read some. I am enjoying it. It's just that bit about Judy Garland and the, the song being wrong. Again, I think I've had to put that back in the week, one of the weekly vlogs. Um, they mentioned that she put on a record of Judy Garland singing Who Cares? Now, this, the fact is, it was one of Jen, um, Jennifer's, one of Marilyn's favourite records, one of her favourite songs. She loved listening to Judy Garland sing Who Cares? But this book is set in 1954, and as far as I can find out, Judy recorded that in 1960, so it's a bit uh, out of sync. But then again, it's a fantasy novel, so things could be done in a different order. Other than that, the Marilyn stuff's right. A lot of the quotes I recognise, and so that's good. I mean, that does make you think, oh, that's better, because a lot of the time there's a lot of the stuff that's uh, not really quotes of Marilyn, and, and that's the problem with the internet. You get lots of things that they say she said when she didn't say them. And they made that was like, thing about uh, give a girl the right pair of shoes and she'll conquer the world. She never said that. I think that was Bette Midler. Um, however, there were ones that she did say that sometimes you think, did she say that? I don't remember reading that anywhere. And then you read um, an article or a book again that you haven't read for a long time and that crops up and you think, oh yeah, she did say that. Or it's, she says that it's in this book that she said that and it's more rela reliable because it was written at the time. So There were just uh, so many misquotes. I'm thinking when I start my reread of Marilyn books, which I'm going to possibly do next year, especially the early stuff, the pre-internet stuff, and I'm, I might make a, a list of quotes that are in the books, so and what books they're from, and then I can turn around and say, right, this was said to so and so, this was said to this person. So if somebody says, oh, she never said that, I can say, well, well, actually, in this book, uh, she's quoted as saying that. Whether or not she actually did or whether the author of the book made it up is another matter, obviously. Because uh, some of them are saying they're, they're quoting her verbatim, and how can you remember that? I mean, some reporters can because they don't always write things down or have a tape recorder play and they might just commit it to certain things to memory but you won't remember whole conversations but uh, notable things that people say you might if you think oh because that doesn't sound like that should come from that person <laughs> and sometimes it actually does I like her hair. Looks great. The grayscale makes her hair look good. And this is the good thing about grayscale. I've used one colour on her hair and I don't need to use any other colours because the shading's already there. And you can see how good it looks. Oh, did I? I'm not feeling good at all. So we're going to give her some oh dear. I do not feel well. Use that colour for her, just a little bit in her eyes, just to give her a bit of colour. Her eyes are really too small to do anything with, but uh, pink lips. I like her. She's pretty. Right, now we're going to look for the light uh, sea, uh, teals, deep teal, pine, it says pine green but it's not, arctic blues, these sort of greeny blue colours for her tail. I think I'll actually might go with turquoise for that. Yeah, turquoise is on the beginning of her, her, uh, 
her bikini top. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. So this this is turquoise. Yeah, no, that's the colour I want. I'll look nice for her scales as well. Because of course you don't need to use too many different colours. Put that there. Because obviously now these are shells, so really they wouldn't be this colour, but I'm gonna assume that they've dyed them somehow. Painted them with seaweed ink. Because I want it all to look nice. It's lovely. I'm enjoying this one. It's so nice to colour something like this, which is fairly, it's not too detailed. I mean, there are lots of really nice pictures in this, this book. And I've got, I think I've got all, all the tattoo books. I think I've got four. Because I brought up gothic tattoos as well, which is... Uh, um, I'm going to be filming a flip through of in a minute um, shortly and that will be going up in the next few days and then uh, I quite like them the grayscale one's my favourite I'm not going to lie I wish they were all in grayscale but Although the gothic one's not too bad. I mean, I really hope they do put the Chibi Girls Christmas and the Chibi Girl and the Kawaii Girls Christmas or whatever it is they're doing out in grayscale like they say they go into. Because I would definitely buy the grayscale. Oh, that would be amazing. I don't think they've put up what they're putting out this week yet, if anything. So who knows? I'm going to have to change my battery because it's dead. I'll be back in a second. Right. That's the battery change. I must admit I haven't had a quick look on the Jane Summer group, but they haven't actually posted um if they're posted if they're um, actually doing a a book this week. I hope so, and I hope it's something new and I hope it's something interesting. The question is will they release the grayscale and the line art the same week or will we have to wait? So you know, I do try and get them when they come out because you get them up it's only a pound in the UK cheaper, so you get them for three ninety nine instead of four ninety nine. Um, that if I didn't get it and then they didn't put it out in grayscale in time I'd be like really gutted that I hadn't bought it cheaper because <laughs> obviously every penny counts okay yes I know I'm monetizing my account and I am making some chunk some change and it is only change I mean it's not it's not going to make me a millionaire or anything it's just going to be a nice little bit of change when I get it to to put into buying new supplies although I do have to pay tax on it I have to put it through my tax through my self-assessment because I do have a um, obviously, as you know, I do sell on eBay, so of course I have a tax, a self-assessment uh, thing to do every year. I've got to do it soon. It's got to be in by the um, 31st of January. The only reason I've been putting it off is I do like to put my work salary in, but I can't access my P60 because at the moment some of the systems are down for various reasons. It happens from time to time. I can still do it because they can check my national insurance number and uh, get the details of what I've earned from there. Obviously, I, I'm under the tax threshold, so I don't pay tax on my salary at the moment. That may well change at some point. Um, but yeah, it's it's all good. Um, but yeah, well, whatever's left, I it will be literally going back into the channel. So if I, so for instance, their payout is sixty pounds. So if I reach the first sixty pound, taxes. 20% so I would take 20% out and then the rest of the money I usually put in more I'd probably put in 30% just to be on the safe side it also builds my savings slightly and then the rest of it will go to buying books and towards supplies so I'm hoping to be able to save up and get something like the Karen Dash pencils or the Albrecht Duo Faber Castell watercolours or maybe maybe even save up for the whole binds you know that would be my plan I would like another box of 150 Prismas because I am using them up I'm trying not to use them but I'm actually using them in my Johanna Basford calendar at the moment because they I just like the way they look I'm going to use different things in there so at the moment I'm using those on the first one I was feeling so bad and I wanted to make sure I made a video that I didn't colour in it tonight. My plan is to try and colour in it a little bit every night. And my I did I did last night, to be fair, we were watching a programme. 
um, and tomorrow night I won't be filming so hopefully tomorrow night I'll be able to do it and I did put some listings up on eBay so I am getting back into doing that I've been off that for a while but I will get back to that it's all good I like that colour for her tail, it looks quite nice. A little bit of turquoise, so. I'm going to colour over that little bubble. You have to excuse me. I do like using markers. I mean, I love colouring with pencils. I really do. But since I started using markers, I do love them a lot. But that's why I try and mix it up and do sometimes do pencils, sometimes do markers. Just so there's a bit of everything. I haven't done anything with gel pens because mostly I colour patterns with gel pens. I don't really colour pictures. I might I do use them on there. So for instance, I might put a bit of a green or a light blue gel pen, say, um around the scales or something. Not maybe not on this, but on one that's not um grey scale. Because the gel just covers up the grey. Um but I don't colour I only really colour patterns with them. Although I am doing one in one of the Jade Summer Christmas books. So I'll have to have a look at that, get that out again soon. Because I will really want to whip my whips this month and next month and try and get them down to pretty much nothing before um, the new year. I've got one in um, Jade Summer Chibi Girls Horror that I'm working on. Um, I started last month. I'm going to try and get that done. I might do a bit of that one tomorrow actually because um, obviously... Um, I'm filming today and I do bulk film things. I might do a bit of filming tomorrow. I'm still working on my Arteza uh, pencils uh, first impressions video. I'm on part two now and I want to get that in the can and obviously I've got to do the Arteza watercolours because I've got those as well now and I'm looking forward to using those. Um, and I have ordered the shuttle art markers. 60 set just because I wanted to try them somebody was recommended them and I recommended them and I thought Ooh. And they're not that expensive they're 20 quid so I thought 20 quid for 60 markers I'll take that that's not bad it's not even 50p a marker so just to try them out so there'll be one of uh, uh, first impressions on that so at the moment I'm doing the cheaper brands which is great um obviously if I can afford to get the more expensive ones when the money starts coming through from the ads if it does then I will <laughs> obviously um, oops, I'll just pull it up a bit. Sorry, the case is in the way. It's catching on the case. There we go. Um, so I don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's not a hugely complicated picture, so I'm probably just going to do it one in one go. The only thing I might not do is the background, and I'll do that separately, but I, it depends on how long. I think we were at 20 almost, so, so when I turned it off to change the battery, or just before 20. So we'll have to see where we are then. There we go. That's your tail. So I mean it's not taking us that long to do it. So uh, have a look at this one. Oh, that's a nice colour. So I'm going to do this the draw. I know it's blue and her hair's red and you would really be able to see behind it. There's going to be a lot of blue in this, obviously. And I'm just going to do them in different different shades of blue. So we are technically, technically working on the background now because we've done the main bit. So we'll just keep having a chat. So... So I only uh, listed three items on eBay tonight. I tried to list five when I list, but it was getting on. Um, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to list the three. At least it's something listed. And then I'll get another five ready for tomorrow. And I'll try and do the five tomorrow. And so on until 
till it's uh, all ready. I've got the fish to do. Where would do the fish orange? So it's just a matter of me trying to do various bits and just slowly, very slowly crack on with it. I did have a sale today. I'll pull it tomorrow so that it can go off Friday. And I've got some stuff I want to get listed. I've got a PlayStation 1 with four games. I've got um, another PlayStation thing to list. And then I've got um, a pair of Clark's shoes that my brother bought and never wore. So they are brand new. I've got uh, one camera that w it works that I can get listed. I've got a ton of games up here to go through as well. So I'll do them and do a bundle. I just sold a bundle of, play of PlayStation 3 games. These are Xbox games. I've got a bundle of Xbox games I can get rid of. Chris normally um, trades his games in, but I don't think he could be bothered to go to somewhere like CEX because he doesn't buy them very often now. He buys what he wants and and that but um we normally get them in for christmas i don't know what we're doing this year because he's staying in new zealand to see what mum says probably put money in his bank account i expect so he can get something he wants <laughs> that's probably best um, he said just sell them he said put some money in jennifer's account so i do you know i obviously make sure i've paid got my taxes for them and i paid my fees and then i put some money in her account got more money saved than I have although I am catching up well I'm never going to catch up with it but I am saving more money than I used to be. as part of it is not being at work I'm at work but I'm working at home I do need to get these all on the weekend so I will have to uh, well we usually go and see Paul's mum on a Saturday we didn't last week because we didn't have the car she came to see us so I'm going to uh get the get diesel on the way I won't fill it up I'll put 30 quid in and that'll do us and then I'll fill it up over Christmas or after Christmas or because I've got to start getting Christmas presents I don't think anybody wants much this year I think it's going to be more just uh, if we can see each other it'd be a bonus wouldn't it so England is going into lockdown as we're about to come out of it. They go into lockdown tomorrow. We come out of it hopefully, well, on Monday. And pubs and restaurants are allowed to reopen. So we'll have to see what's happening. It'd be nice to go for a drink. But they say about taking bookings, but, you know, if you just want to go out for a drink, you can't plan what time you're going to go for a drink. You know, unless, you know, you, I suppose you can to an extent, but we like to go for a walk and then just stop by. Um, but we'll have to see, you know what they say I do miss my local I mean if I was not well I'm not going to be going out but I have to see how I am I'd rather be well I hate being ill I'm not very good at being ill when I was in the hospital with my ass week a few years ago oh my god it was horrendous I had my laptop with me I want it was 2014, it was six years ago. I wasn't into the colouring then, I hadn't got into it then, which is a shame because I would have had plenty to do if I had been. But um, but then saying that, I was in hospital over a week having Jennifer because they admitted me to induce me and it didn't work. And I didn't do any colouring. I don't know why. I would now. If I had to go into hospital, I'd want to take my colouring books and either my pencils or some markers or a pattern book with gel pens. But let's hope that nothing like that actually happens ever again. Because that was that wasn't very nice. The asthma asthma is nasty at the best of times without having to be in hospital with it. There we go. She's so pretty. Ah, if 
use turquoise we'll use arctic blue on it now we'll just do these ones it's very very light color it's a nice color it doesn't look that brilliant on there how does it look on there that's not too bad i suppose and we will do that bit because that's fine and that one I'm going to start up here. I can't see what I'm doing. How annoying of me. So, yeah, Jennifer's enjoying her nursery. She's making lots of friends. She's having a brilliant time with them, which does make me very happy, you know? To know she's having a, a whale of a time and she's happy with what doing what she's doing you know i'm at work and that's fine because i have to work but to know that she's fine and there's no issues and she's enjoying herself to me that that's all i need that's all i need to know is that she's happy having fun making friends and enjoying herself. I need a bit more red actually on her hair. Just a little bit of a gap there and there. That's it. <laughs> and I'm going to get a nice orange. Um, I think we'll use pumpkin for the fish. I am doing the background as well. I just want to do the fish because he's a pretty little fish. love grayscale I thought I was terrified of grayscale and it's very hard if it's a lot of fine detail but something like this is easy to use markers on I must must admit I do prefer to use markers so there we go uh, I love it it doesn't take as long so you can finish a picture quite quickly not always because sometimes you know the pictures can be quite complicated but I do like this book and I will be colouring in this a lot more that is nice I love it I'm loving this book I gotta be honest I am a, I'm gonna be posting this in the Jade Summer sorry uh, the Jade Summer group this this evening when it's done I think once I've finished all my filming um I think I think I will. I mean, I'll just. Uh, I'm gonna put put it all in. I'm gonna put it in because it's not gonna take me that long to finish it. To be fair, it's nearly done. It's only the background, and I'm only doing that because we're chatting. Normally, I would uh, turn the camera off and do it separately because they usually take a lot longer. Oh, I can see me coloring in this book a lot when I just want to do a picture for quick or I don't want to take forever on it it's such a nice book yeah I like this book I'm glad I bought this because first of all I thought tattoos I don't want tattoos and then I saw the grey scale I thought you know what? I'll buy it and have a look it looks interesting and I gotta be honest I really like it I am so glad I got it now I really, really am. It's amazing. It looks really good, I, th I think. The tattoos look brilliant. So I'm really glad. I just wish they'd just put them straight out into grayscale. I know some people don't like grayscale. But, yeah, and sometimes I do like to do blending and all that stuff. But sometimes I just don't. Want to, I think that bit over there, which you can't see at the moment, is supposed to be that other teal green, or the turquoise rather. So I will get the turquoise back out when we get to that section. Oh, so nice. I'm getting my little fish. I gotta be honest, I was looking for a picture to do and I didn't even go any I went about two pages after this one. I thought, no, I've got to do the mermaid. And I'm not a big mermaid person, you know, some people really love their mermaids and it's all they colour. Um, or you know, they go mad for them. And I'm I'm not, I don't go mad for particularly any particular thing. I just colour what I like and I thought, oh, do you know what? I really want to colour this girl. 
you think because I'd love water I'd want to colour things like mermaids but no not so much but this one and I have got the mermaid books as well and I do like them Yeah, such a nice colour. So yes, thank you for everybody who's asked for me to do pictures in certain books or to do flip throughs of certain books. I know somebody's asked for another picture and I said, yes, that's fine, I'll do that one as well. One in that book, and I can't remember what book it is, so I'll have to look it up. Because I'm an idiot and I don't write things down like I should. But uh, I'll just have a look through my comments. It won't take me long to find it. Especially if I do it on my laptop, because it'll come up on one page. relaxing just sitting here colouring this with you um yeah so this is a lovely book i recommend this book if you if you're into this sort of tattoo style um it's a really nice book to colour in actually and the markers work very well on it i would always use the markers on the jade summer grace because the paper's not brilliant but i'll be honest i don't have a problem with it but markers do go down very well on it. Obviously you need to, if you're using alcohol markers like these, put a piece of paper um, underneath the page so that you avoid the bleed through. Now obviously with the, the Everblends and uh, a lot of alcohol markers with the reds, unless you buy the really expensive Copics, can't afford them. I guess maybe I'll be able to save up and get some. Um, they do stain orange underneath. I've only had it happen in one book because I'm usually very careful. I leave the paper in until it's completely dried. I don't close the book until it's completely dried. So I might have books all over the floor if I've been using a lot of markers. But I just think it makes sense just to keep it safe and stop the um, any bleed because you don't want to ruin the next page. So most of the time you can cover it. It's not a major issue. It just depends, obviously, if, if you get a really orange stain on a skin, it's going to be a very odd thing to colour or to cover. Depend, depend on you could do a dark skin tone and that would work. And um, that's something I need to, to practice. I'm afraid of doing it and making it look terrible. I'm going to watch some tutorials on YouTube and then I'll, I'll try one. I watch a tutorial, get an idea of how to do it, and then I just work out my own way. Because I find it very hard to, to do something exactly the same way. We've got to find our own way. And yes, if they can help us a little bit with it, that's fine. I'm trying to make sure I, I my head's not in the camera frame. Because the way I'm sitting. I might try a different way of filming soon. I've got an idea of how I might be able to do it slightly differently, which would be more comfortable for me. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm still not feeling brilliant. Oh, something moved. Yeah. 
I do, I like this one. I think she looks lovely. Oh, I do like the picture as well. I think it's really nice. I'm glad I, I chose this one. I'll have a look through the book and see if there's anything else I want to do. Because like I said, this month I'm doing what I feel like, not what I feel I should. So although this is a book I haven't coloured in and normally I try and colour in books I haven't done, this month I'm working on my whips and then I'm colouring what I want to rather than, um, oh I haven't coloured this book, I must colour in it. If it's a book I want to colour in, I'm going to colour in it regardless. Um, like this one was a request so I was happy to do it and um, it also takes one off of my I haven't coloured in this book list but generally I'm going to colour what I want this month so if I look through this and I think oh I want to colour that and it's you know another tattoo one I'm going to colour it and I'm just going to sit and do it whether it's on camera or in the evening while I'm watching YouTube or Um, so this month is really about doing what I want, not about what um, needs to be done or what I think I should do. The only thing I'm trying to do is, obviously, I'm trying to finish off whips. But if I don't feel like doing it, I'm not going to do that whip if I'm not in the mood. I, I've got to think, I want to finish this one. I want to do a bit on this one. And it might be that I just spend 10 minutes putting a colour down. So, for instance, the Chippy Girls Horror, I'm, I'm doing um, the picture with all different strange colours so which is green which is pretty standard for witches though they don't have to be um so I'm doing that and she's wearing black but other than that everything else is going to be freaky colours so she's holding a frog he might be purple or he might be orange the sky is going to be orange the trees trunks are going to be blue the leaves on the trees are going to be pink the grass is going to be red I might even do the fire green or it might be a darker blue or a lighter blue depending on what colour I do the trees uh, and so on so it's going to be a freaky really fantasy thing and I'm not very good at that I like to colour things the way they should be normally but this time I am actually going to do it um, freaky colours and I'm looking forward to doing that um, I just haven't finished it so although I started it oh, I need that for some of these so some of these blobs I'm going to do this colour, especially the ones outside of this section. Let me just show you. So this one and this one and this one and this one and this one. This one can be. This one will be. I could get a Posca pen but I, I don't really don't need a gel pen and put some white on it but you know what I quite like the way it looks as it is so we're just doing like the little bubbles and the other bubbles will do a different colour a different blue this just makes it look a bit more interesting if they're all different or they're in different areas I, yeah, I do like this one. I think she looks lovely. And I said I've only got the big bit of background to do now. And the bubbles, which I'm currently working on. So this isn't going to take long. I really want to start my snowman, but I don't, I'm a bit tired. I don't think I'll be starting him tonight. I've got a snowman... Um, uh, diamond painting uh, which you'll see in the weekly vlog and obviously in the, the end of the month um, haul even though it's not colouring it's it's crafting um, I want to put up either in the window or in Jennifer's room it's really cute it's round um, bits I don't know what they call them diamonds or whatever they are they're round ones and they're really nice it's a really nice picture and I'm looking forward to doing it but again I'll probably do it on a, a night I'm not filming and maybe I won't be colouring too much I want that turquoise again don't I yeah turquoise I think the turquoise goes in here it would make sense oh 
right now I just need to do the other bubbles so I'll use this sort of what's that, a pale aqua for the ones on here that I am going to use a different blue on the rest of it going to try and read some of my Agatha Christie books and not one of her novels it's about her writing it's um, called The Complete Secret Notebooks and it's how she plotted out her her, her, her novels and uh, it's all over the place it's not in chronological order there's no order to them she might be talking about her her last novel or her first novel um, and then the next time she'll be talking about five novels and then it'll go to the third novel and then to the tenth novel and then back to the first novel and so on and it's that's just the way it works should we use cerulean blue oh yes i love this color so we're just gonna start at this top corner and work our way through so it's a really interesting book but it is such a huge it's massive it is a massive book and um yeah it's gonna take a while this would technically be the skin on the person but i'm just gonna do it blue if that's a tattoo this would be skin but i'm not doing that skin oh no we that would be boring wouldn't it we want to make this look interesting no and in fact when they do the background on the cover it's black it stopped it means you can do whatever you want and it's your coloring book so there are no rules so I like the idea of there being a bit of blue, darker blue around, surrounding her like a frame. Down I think it would look really weird if uh, it was the same colour as her skin. It wouldn't because her skin would probably be the person's skin anyway. So um, do you have any tattoos? Just just as a way of conversation while we're colouring in the tattoo. But do any of you have tattoos? I have two. I have one on my arm, which is a dolphin. Very small. It's only about an inch, inch and a half. And I have a big one on my back, which is a dagger with a rose wrapped around it. Don't ask me why, but that's what I came up with. Um, they both need recolouring, really, but too old to go through that again I'm not I just don't want to <laughs> um. that's enough for me I remember though when I had the dolphin done uh, my dad was never into tattoos he was always against them especially for girls a bit old-fashioned and I was with my mum one day and she saw it and she said oh is that a tattoo and I went yeah it was only a small dolphin she went oh don't let your dad see it and, okay well, all right no worries and of course you forget and we went out one day on a hot day and I had a vest top on <laughs> so of course it's on my shoulder it was on my arm so you could see it and he just looked and he went is that a tattoo I went yeah said, oh that's nice so <laughs> she wasn't worried at all <laughs> so it's just going to show you just don't know how people are going to react until they actually do and he was like oh that's all right I think once he saw it, and it wasn't anything horrific, and it was just a dolphin, it's quite feminine, I guess. He rather enjoyed it, he, he liked it, it was quite funny. I mean, I think he's mellowed in his age now. He's, you know, this is a man, you know, that when he was a, a youngster, he'd go in all the pubs and clubs, and you know, there were times when his mates took him into gay clubs, and it didn't bother him at all. He's, he, he doesn't, he's just, you think that his generation he'd be so closed off, but he's not. He was like more open-minded than some people that are, are today. It didn't bother him at all, which is good. He's a pretty amazing bloke, my dad. Some people. Oh, 
I mean, and, and they used to go to pubs in the day where ladies, women, didn't go into the bar. They weren't allowed. They had to go into the lounge. Children were not allowed in them at all up until, I think, the 80s. Um, unless there was a, a garden and then the kids would have to stay in the garden. Although if they had, there was a restaurant attached. I can remember going out for Sunday lunches. Um, with my mum and dad in the 70s to pubs um, because they had restaurants, separate restaurant rooms, function rooms which they would set up for families. Even then they knew that was a way of making money. Um, this was before the drink drive laws got a lot stricter. Um, but yeah in those days it, only men went into bars, women didn't go into pubs alone. They only went in if they were escorted by a gentleman. This is true. Even now, my mum doesn't like going to a pub on her own. Um, and they would have to wear a shirt and tie, no jeans, nothing like that. I mean, it was a whole different world back in the 50s and 60s. Interesting. Um, maybe better in some ways and not in others. The music was certainly better. <laughs> You know, it was actually music, and, as opposed to... Oh, excuse me, what they put out today. And there are still some good bands, don't get me wrong. And music is subjective. It's, 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 everybody's entitled to like what they like. I am just not big on a lot of modern stuff. I like more of it than Paul does. But... Um... And if I hear uh, something I like, I'll, I might buy the album. And I'll admit, I, if I like it, I mean... But we do like music and we've got a lot of music. Probably more music than we can listen to in our lifetime and it's still increasing because we just love it. I do have another channel called The Vinyl Vlog, but I'm going to be changing the name soon. I've actually decided I'm going to call it Music, Movies and More. It's going to be all about entertainment. So it could be stuff, uh, once this pandemic is over, if it ever ends, it can be about going to straight theatre, plays like Shakespeare and Chekhov, or the ballet, or the opera, or pantomime. It's going to be about everything. Um, books about the entertainment industry, whether it be music, movies, or theatre, um, films, television, anything can be on it. That, that's the whole point. It's, it's just because I love making videos about records, but I just don't buy enough. I can't afford to, um, because I've got so many other hobbies, including this one. And I've also got, I love my cinema just as much if not more because cinema is something I've been into for a very long time and I'm getting more into cinema and different um, films and film actors mostly the older stuff not so much the new stuff although I'm, I'm not against modern films it just depends on what it is I mean I saw I, I had an unlimited card at one point I'm glad I'm not paying for that now need a bit more orange actually there's a bit missing off his tail um and i was going into the cinema every week for a while i went on my own i it didn't bother me going to the cinema on my own uh, paul would come if there was someone you wanted to see he came with me to see uh les miserables i did go and see that twice i think is it that nice or twice um did he come to see oz the great and powerful or did i see that on a day off i went to see lincoln there was loads I went, to, I went to see. Yeah, loads of them I, that I went to see when I had the unlimited card. And then, because there was loads of film at the time, and then it stopped. So, yeah, and I cancelled it because I wasn't going. And then, of course, as soon as I did that, a load of films came out. Um, last film I saw at the cinema was Judy with Renée Zwelliger. Not the best film on Judy Garland because it's um, timelines all over the place. Uh, there's a lot of things they don't, the hardcore Judy fans don't like. Um, if it gets people interested in Judy and they go and learn the real story, then I haven't got a problem with it. They've been doing it to Marilyn for years. <laughs> so, it's just one of those things. 
Um, but yeah, I do like going to the cinema. I was going to go and see um, the new Ghostbusters film. Don't know what's happened to that. And I was going to go and see Wonder Woman 84. But um, who knows what's happening now with the cinemas, especially in the UK. I mean, we've never been had the facility or the weather for drive-ins like in the states um we just haven't i know they are trying it but you know this is the uk we have more rain than anything else i always like the idea of going to a drive-in though I mean, cinemas are expensive, unless you go somewhere like the Maxim in Blackwood, which I, again, don't have a problem with. I really like the cinema. It's a nice... I used to go to that cinema before it was the Maxim. It was um, open in the 1980s, and then it closed in the late 80s and um, became a bingo hall for the longest time. And then they said they were converting it back into a cinema. I think they've got more than one screen now. I don't know how many, they've got two or three. Um, so they're smaller auditoriums. So they can show more films, which means there's more variety, which means, of course, people will go and see different things. I mean, I've only been there once. It's done out lovely. They've got some lovely pictures on them, all various classic movie stars. And we went to see, I took my mum and dad to see the 68 Comeback Special, the Elvis Presley um, thing his tv special uh they had the 50th anniversary i think it was the 50th anniversary wasn't it 69 yeah Six, 68 sorry 68 camera special so it was only two years ago so it feels like a long time it feels like so much longer than two years um but we went to see the 50th anniversary of that at uh, blackwood cinema there wasn't many places showing it so um, I took it to, them to it because it was also their 50th wedding, wedding anniversary. They got married in 68 as well. So I took them to see that. And they enjoyed it. It's a bit loud for mum. As much as she loves Elvis, she don't like cinemas because they are too loud. And I must admit, they do turn the volume up far too loud. But she did. I think she enjoyed seeing him on the big screen again. She used to go and watch him at the cinema in the 50s she went to see Love Me Ten some like 13 or 14 times because her brother was a projectionist her half brother so he would let her in for free she got in for free because of him so she watched it like <laughs> so many times I like those sorts of stories that my mum and dad tell about when they were young good and the bad it's interesting to know Um, yeah, it's good to know. I like knowing things about my family and what they got up to with back when they were young. And, you know, it's not that different. They went to the cinema. They went to the pub. They went dancing. Um, they had fish and chips. You know, they did the sort of things that we do. They went to the seaside and to the fun fair. It was just different times. Mm. I remember going to the cinema and oh. Yeah, it was. It's what they did. They did the same th we, things we do. They're not that different when you think, oh, you're old, you don't know anything. Believe me, they've been there and they've done it. And we all think that about parents who don't know anything. But believe me, they know a lot more than we do. They did it all before. And they had it... I wouldn't say a lot harder, but it was different. I mean, my parents didn't have a fridge until after... The, well, till Richard was born. I mean, he was born just over a year after they were married. But they didn't have a fridge. They only got one because he came along. My parents didn't have central heating until 1989, 1990 something. I think it's the house they're in now. No, they went when they must have had it in. Did we have 
in there? I don't think we did. There wasn't one in my room. No. Until we moved, till they moved to the house they're in now, which was around 96, they never had central heating. I can remember um, having um, gas fires and a cow gas fire at one point in one of the houses. Um, we had, they never had central heating. We had an open fire in another house we had. So it's just a different world. It's total. We, I mean, they never had telephones. I mean, they never had telephones in the house when they were kids. And if they did, more than likely it was a party line where, you know, I don't know how popular they were in the UK, but, you know, they, they didn't have credit cards and buy stuff on tick. It wasn't done. It wasn't done. If you couldn't afford it, you didn't have it. It was that simple. And maybe it is a better way of living because you don't get into debt. I've been in debt. I know how hard it is to get out of it. Um, it's possible, but it's hard. And I just think that they had it easier in some ways and harder in other ways. So in a way, it all equals out things being proper and right. And my parents aren't boomers. They're older than boomers. And they would help, it would have helped us as much as they could if they had, if they could have. And they wouldn't begrudge it to us. And they don't begrudge the lives we have. I just, and it's like with Jennifer, I just want her to be happy. If she wants to be something, I'll encourage her if she's got the aptitude to do it. And I will help her as much as I can get to where she wants to be. You know? And that's all you can do. It's her life, not mine. I can't make her be what I want. She's got to be what she wants and what she's happy doing. It might be something that I would never have even considered. She might want to be a teacher or an astronaut. Or a mathematician uh, with me as mum uh, i'm hopeless at math i can't see it she might want to be an archaeologist which is fine with me she might want to be a doctor or a nurse or a vet and if we can help her achieve that we will certainly do it i can't we can't make our children be what we want they have to find their own way and we just have to guide them to find that I've always said if she wants dancing lessons she can have them, if she wants to play football she can play football. If she wants to stop doing something she can stop and then if a year later she says she wants to do it again or try it again, if we can afford it she can try it again. I used to love horse riding and ice skating. I don't expect her to enjoy those or love them the way I did but if she does that's great, that's fantastic. She might, you know, who knows, it's her life and I'm excited to find out what she's going to do with it. She's sound asleep by the sound of it. She want to go to bed, I could hear her chattering for a bit, but when we came up she was quiet, so when I finish this I will go and get myself a drink. I need, I need a Coke. Not because I want to stay awake, but just because I need something cold and fizzy. I've got no Lucozade in, otherwise I'd have that. And then I'm going to uh, film my flips. I'll check on it then before I do that. And then it'll probably be time to snuggle down and have a sleep. Love it. I'm liking this one. I think I might just put a little bit of um, glitter gel pen on her scales, hopefully, and on her tail. What do you think? Should we do that? We are getting towards um, an hour, well, over an hour. Another long one for you guys. I hope you don't mind. I know a lot of you watched the whole thing last time. We did a long one. But, uh, 
and thank you I do appreciate that I do really appreciate it knowing that you guys enjoy watching them even though they're long sometimes and I'm only colouring a background on this occasion if you watch all this one thank you um, although I'm going to put some glitter on in a minute oh, I do like this one it is it is gorgeous I don't even mind the streaks because it kind of looks like it's just the water moving around on this one, which it would. So that's good. That's just why my gels. Just a little bit to go. There we go. We've nearly done all the blue. We used up a heck of a lot of this, whatever colour it was. Cerulean blue. It's a nice colour, mind. that bit done let's find the top I don't even know where that is there it is now where have I put my glitters I had them here earlier I thought they don't live in there why are they in there oh, they're right by me actually here we go so I want that one um mm. just find the right color not that one that's too dark where's my light blue that one will do. Oh, no, it's not. That's the dark one. There it is. That's the one I want. Okay, so I'm just going to put some red glitter through her hair. I'm just literally going to just go over one of the lines like that. Like that. And like that. It's just to... There we are literally just pretty much following the lines on the thing i had a very strange dream i've just remembered it i dreamt that i was with a group of people and we were in america i know it's nothing to do with the election and why am i doing this pink Actually, it looks fine now. It's, it's perfect. I was going to do it red, but it's actually a pink one. But it looks fine. It's because it's got red top because um, Jennifer lost the top. But I think actually that looks fine. It actually looks quite nice. I like the way it sparkles on her hair. Like that. I'm just put a little bit more there and a little bit on this section here. There's a bit of her hair I didn't colour. Just there. I don't know if I've actually done it blue for some reason, but I'll go over it now. Just here, that's actually hair. Let's put that there. It'll just look like it's a dark bit, that's fine. And now I'm going to get the blue, which is blue and not another colour. <laughs> uh, yeah, I dreamt that I was in America and we were at the house that Marilyn Monroe died in. It, it Today, it was like modern times. And we were exploring the house. Somebody lived there, but we had gone into it. It was really weird. And they were there, and they were fine with it. And then we were in... There was people sort of sitting in her bathroom for some reason. It wasn't actually her house, but it was supposed to be her house. So in reality, it wasn't Marilyn's house. But in my head, it was. I do have strange dreams. And, um, yeah, so they were people were in her bathroom and in her living room and her bedroom and people were trying to you know I want to go in this room I want to go in that room and then I want to go in the guest house it's very very strange but then I do really have some strange dreams I also dreamt uh, something to do with the BBC and filming Doctor Who and 
um, Doctor Who, what was it? I'm just trying to think of what it was. Um, props, but then there was somebody else there and it, they were gangsters and we were being shot at and it was very, very strange. But it was in Cardiff, which is fair enough because that's where Doctor Who is normally filmed or has been filmed. Like, you know, it was just very, very strange. So I do have these really vivid, mad dreams. And, um, yeah, they're, uh, they are odd, the ones, something like, like that one. The Marilyn one was nice, because I do love Marilyn, and it was quite, even it wasn't actually her house, it was her house in my head. It was very strange. I was in a good bed wondering what I'm going to dream about tonight. nearly finished it is a good job because we're getting near another it's way over an hour just doing this like i said i'm just literally just going over the scales i'm not coloring in, in the scales i'm literally just going over the lines of the scales just to give it a bit of sparkle you probably can't even see it but i've just cut the whole of the tail to do now this section here as you can see i've got a I'm just going to crack on and get this done and then we can look at the whole entire picture Ooh, I've got my hand on glitter that's all right I try not to put my hands on glitter but it's very difficult when you're left-handed okay nearly done so yeah, I know. I do remember a lot of my dreams. I used to write them down, which is why I'm quite good at remembering. Luckily, these scales are getting bigger now. I used to, I don't do it anymore. I write my dreams down and keep a dream diary. I've still got it somewhere. And uh, I've, so that's why I can still really remember my dream. If you get into the habit of when you wake up, if you've got a piece of paper by your, pe by your bed, just write down what you dreamt. Um, you'll, you'll train your mind to remember your dreams. And it does work. So, and that's how I remember so many dreams, because I trained my brain to remember them. I've got not a book full but I have got a, a lot in a book um some I haven't put in I uh, usually because I've got a diary next to my bed so you write a journal you call it journal but I call it a diary I don't actually put stick things in it I do stick things in it occasionally if I find something that I think I want to remember usually it's a picture of somebody or a card if if I get a particularly nice birthday card or Valentine's card from Paul. I'll put those in. But there we go. And I'm just going to put a few lines on her tail as well. Just along here. It's just to give it a bit of sparkle. I like a bit of sparkle. I don't always put sparkle on and and you know you wouldn't have sparkle really on a tattoo. It would just be matte, but this is a colouring book, not a person's skin. So hey ho, I'm gonna do what I want. There we go. We're finished. And now I can show you the finished picture. Hooray! Let's put it there. And there is our finished mermaid from a jade summer tattoo grayscale i hope you've enjoyed this a very long color and chat if you have please give this video a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment down below and don't forget to share this video with your friends subscribe if you're not already a subscriber i really do appreciate everybody that does subscribe and i'll see you all soon bye everybody bye